In this video, we're going to get a lot of practice thinking, hearing, feeling, and expressing the rhythmic notion of two things happening on one side of your body while one thing is happening on the other side, and vice versa. And we're going to do that by clapping our hands on our laps in a very disciplined way. We're going to do it with a metronome at various tempos from very slow to very fast. And all the while, we're going to do our best to count the meter out loud using our voices. Uh, and you're going to learn a lot. And it's going to be a lot of fun, I promise. Let's go. Before we get to the tricky part, let's make sure we're on the same page. What we're going to do here is play in 2-4 time. So what you're hearing is a 2 count on the metronome. And let's go ahead and verbalize the meter while we're at it. Ready? 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. You know, we can do better. Let's add the upbeats as well. Ready? One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and and by the way, don't be stiff, right? Get your whole body into it. If you want, tap your feet, sway your torso and head back and forth, get your arms moving, right? And uh, let's do one more thing. Let's just practice really quick counting quarter notes in our laps with our hands. Just and both sides at the same time. Ready? Here it comes. And by the way, let's verbalize the count. Ready? One and two and 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 one and two and. Now, if you're doing this right, the thought and the verbalization and the hand clap and the click of that metronome should all just kind of melt into each other, right? So just make sure you got that down before continuing, right? Just the ability to count both hands simultaneously with good time while you're verbalizing, ready? One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and... Great. All right, here we go. 60 beats per minute, half notes in our left hand, quarter notes in our right, and verbalize the meter. Ready? One and two, one and two, and one and two, and one and two, and one and two, and. Now let's do half notes in our right hand, quarter notes in our left. One and two, and one and two, and one and two, and one and two, and. Now, a critically important point needs to be made here because it speaks to the heart of why most piano students give up. And it's because they can't seem to manage being able to do two things at the same time. I have news for you. The way to do two things at the same time is to turn them into one thing at the same time. And so instead of thinking about this as, oh, I'm going to do two things here for every one thing here, or two things here for every one thing there, what I'm going to do is when I count the first downbeat, one, I'm going to think as if I have a giant 10-fingered hand. <laughs> Maybe it sounds a little creepy, but it works. Just think, let's just practice playing the, the, the ones. Ready? One. 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 And now, if you want to play quarter notes in one of those hands, you just keep going. Ready? So let's play quarter notes in my right hand. Ready? One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and. Now let's do the quarter notes in the left. Remember, the big downbeat on the one is one ten-fingered hand. You ready? 
One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and. Now let's try the study at 100 beats per minute. So let's do half notes left, quarter notes right. Remember, the, the ones are going to be like a giant ten-fingered hand. Ready? And verbalize the meter. Now let's do half notes right, quarter notes left. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and one. Now, something I want to really ram home here is when we're thinking about this, the thought of the rhythm and the verbalization of the rhythm and the way we hear the rhythm and the way we express the rhythm should not be four separate things that happen like one after another. No, when we're doing this the right way, all four of those things, right? The thought, the verbalization, the way we hear it, and the physical expression just melt into each other. Got it? Oh, getting a little faster now, 140 beats per minute. Pattern one, half notes in the left hand, quarter notes right. Here we go and verbalize the meter. I don't, I don't think we're going to get the ends in there, not the upbeats. We'll just count the downbeats. One, two, 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 one, two. Now half notes right, quarter notes left. Oh, now we're really cooking. 180 beats per minute. Let's see how it goes. I bet we can do it. Half notes left, quarter notes right. Verbalize the meter. One, two, 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 one, two. Now half notes right, quarter notes left. Verbalize the meter. One two 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 one. Great. I'd like to close this video out with some words of encouragement. You might have found it really tough as the tempo really took off at the end there. And that's okay. That's part of the learning process. And you're not alone. Ah. Uh, it's very rare that anybody comes to a deep understanding of rhythm without lots of practice and experience, which is exactly what we're doing. But you know what? Stay with it. Give this just a few minutes every day, and I guarantee you, if you make a good faith effort to play with the metronome and really work on it and take to heart everything I told you, you're going to get it absolutely get it guaranteed